Shalom, shalom. This is Hahamia ben Yahweh and Hallel Yabat Yahweh. Shalom. As the wisdom praise of Yahweh on day two of Sukkot. Hoping you guys are having a super blessed Sukkot. And we wanted to invite you into our dwelling place, our sukkah. Mi sukkah, your sukkah. We invite you in. We wanted to read a few scriptures. Um, we noticed that our video was sideways um, when I set it back on the stand and I contacted a couple of experts to try to help me get it straight, but I wasn't successful. Um, we're still going to try to get that straight, but we're going to make sure this one is straight. Hallelujah. And so we're having a blessed time. It's really, really windy. As you notice, the wind is blowing a lot and... Um, but we're gonna endure. I don't know if my wife had anything she wanted to add. Um, she's welcome if she wants to. I just wanna say good evening. Uh, shalom everyone, and we're just relaxing here, and we're comfortable, and it's warm in here. It's a beautiful spring, sitting in the tent. Um, this is what it's about, being out in the uh, nature. Hallelujah. Okay, well, I'm going to read Psalms 150. And because um, this is a time of praising the Most High Yah. And it says, Hallelujah. Praise Yah in his set apart place. Praise him in the firmament of his power. Praise him for his mighty acts. Praise him according to his excellent greatness. Praise him with the sound of the shofar. Praise him. Sorry about that. Praise him with the psaltery and the harp. Praise him with the timbrel and dance. Praise him with the string instruments. Praise him with the flutes. Praise him upon the loud cymbals. Praise him with the high sounding cymbals. Let everything that hath breath praise Yah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> the whole list of grandchildren tonight, but I'll just start with the children. Um, we heard from them, um, a couple of them today, and praise Yahweh, so I just want to give a shout out to Galia, that's our youngest daughter, uh, birth name is Zipporah, and we just want to say Shalom Zipporah, uh, Galia, and Brazakia Yaakov, that's our youngest son, Jimmy, and his wife, Emunaya, Dushina. And a shout out to Angela. If you're listening, sweetheart, we love you. And yes. Marvin, my oldest is Marvin and his wife, Christina. So praise Hi. Yahweh. We just, I just want to just acknowledge the children. Um, we miss you. Um, hopefully we'll see some, we'll do the grandchildren later. I don't want to take up too much time, but I have, I have grandchildren or we have grandchildren. <laughs> We, that's a longer list though so we'll just start with the children for now but shout out to uh, all of our family members we love you we miss you um, uh, uh, we wish you were, you and your family were here as well Dalia and all of our family and we just we just uh, want to say shalom oh okay <laughs> all right I just want to share um, a little uh Psalms that came to me, and this is a very well-known psalm, Psalms 23. Most of you know it by heart, but I'll just read it from this uh, scripture. Yahweh is my shepherd. I do not lack. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He turns me, uh, turns our back my being on my soul. He leads me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. When I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, 
I fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You spread before me a table in the face of my enemies. You have anointed my head with oil. My cup runs over. Only goodness and loving commitment follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of Yahweh to the length of days. Amen. Well, this is a comforting song for all. Hallelujah. So, we're going to play this song out, and that will conclude our service. Um, we're going to rest in our sukkah and give the Most High the praise. For he is worthy of all the praise, all the honor, and all the esteem. And we just have a lot to praise him for because he's brought us through a mighty long way. Yes, he has. And we're able to make it through the feast of the uh, shofar. Oh, <laughs> we were able to make it through, I mean, Yom Kippur, I mean, and then to Yom Kippur, and for to be atoned, and then now we are sitting in the sukkah, in the dwelling place, awaiting this coming, rehearsing. And so we have a lot to thank him for because we made it through this far. But if he doesn't come, Within the next six days left, seven days left, we'll be anticipating. This is nothing that we give up, but we constantly anticipate every single day. Because we don't know when that breath is going to leave our body. And so we just give him the praise for being able to make it through another Sukkot. Hallelujah. For this is a very, very special time right now. So we wish blessings to all of you Mishpaka out there from the east to the west to the north to the south above and below. Down. May the most high just be the bless you. Yeah. So we say shalom, shalom. Shalom, shalom, life is old, Mishpaka. May you have a blessing. He is our guru and, um, and we are his Yahweh bride. Sweet and we are to remain faithful unto him and faithful unto our wives. He also says, love your wives as Mashiach no, left the congregation. A physical example to illustrate a spiritual picture. All designed in the master's plan for the blueprint for woman and man. I love you, baby. And I thank the most high y'all for 23 years of marriage. Yes, it was challenges. But the most high y'all, he took us through by learning and walking in his truth. two sons and our two daughters and all of our Mishpaka for their encouragement and support. Shalom everyone. Shalom.